Hi students, welcome back to Miss Elise's art class. I hope that all of you are good at home, safe, and I know you haven't seen me in a while. I do apologize. I've been sick, but I went ahead and want I want to go ahead and make these videos for you guys to help you out in order for you to go ahead and do my art packet. So we're gonna start off today with a PowerPoint like we did in class. Um, it starts off with welcome back to Miss Elisa's art class. Our objective today are, is I will be able to understand and create drawing with a foreground, a middle ground, and a background. The essential question is why is it important to have a foreground, a middle ground, and a background? And who is Tate Nation? So this will be the first part of the package that I provided for you guys. Um, it talks about Tate Nation. Um, Tate Nation is an artist from Charleston, Carolina. He paints landscapes, buildings, and locations around Charleston. Today we're going to be using the element of art space. So space is an element of art. Tate Nation shows space in his art by creating a foreground, a middle ground, and a background. This makes his art look like it has depth and that uh, there are objects close up and far away. Your turn. Your, this is what you're going to be doing. You're going to create a picture for me today that has a foreground, a middle ground, and a background. We do have a little bit of vocabulary. The vocabulary is Tate Nation. He's a South Carolina artist, a painter. And space, it's an element of art that creates depth in, in art. So again, I did go ahead and write who was Tate Nation, which I just explained to you. That is a picture of him. All right, so his work includes um, this picture. It's called the Old Village. Um, he also has this one which is the Cooper River Bridge Run and this last one is called Oasis. So if you look at his pictures um, you can see just like we did in the one point perspective guys remember I mean you should all know and you should all remember whenever Miss Elise was telling you that if you had a car and this would be the road of course your objects in the very front are always going to be bigger the further away the objects are, they, they become smaller and smaller. So this is the same way that you're gonna be doing this picture. Your foreground will always be bigger than what the objects on your middle ground is. And then your background will be smaller because it would be your background, all right? So these are some of his pictures. I'm gonna go ahead and go in a little bit more about our art element of space. The art element Tate Nation uses his space, so you'll need need to be able to show me depth in the picture so space it creates the illusion of depth so what that is is that you're able to see that the 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 front of the page or the front of the picture has more like um sh like color a deeper color the further away you're gonna you're gonna give it a little bit of a shadow or just a little bit of a lighter color so you don't have to press as hard when you bring your coloring okay so you as you see like the balls in these um in this picture the front one the front one is dark the the the, the further the are the, the middle ones it gets a little bit lighter than the further away it's it's um very light so those are some of the things that you want to be thinking about when you're going to create your picture so you're going to be able to take out a piece of paper it does not matter if it's a line paper or white paper whatever you have at home you're going to turn your paper into the landscape mode so this is landscape like you i've always showed you this not portrait landscape and then now we will go ahead and divide our paper. So I already divided kind of what I'm going to be doing. So it would be my foreground is way up uh, down here. That would be because my car, remember, is here. So this will be my bigger objects. My middle ground is in the mid middle of the paper. And then the background is on the very top. And because that would be the background, your sky or whatever you're going to be using for your background. All right. Um, just like, like I told you, we did for the one point, point perspective, the closer, the closer it is here, the bigger the objects and the, the background, the tinier the objects. Now, 
what I want you to do is I want you to think where you would want to be right now. If you had anywhere you wanted to be, um, I want you to draw it with the foreground, the middle ground, and the background. So me, I would say my favorite place is Dis or my favorite thing is Disney. So I would want to go to Disneyland right now if we didn't have this COVID, right? So I went ahead and took my picture out. And I haven't finished it because, you know, it takes me a long time. So I started and I went ahead and put on my foreground my, my Mickey Mouse, all right? My Mickey Mouse gang, my club, all right? So right here is going to be kind of like a, a sidewalk where they're walking on. And then if you see right here, there's going to be some kind of bushes. So that that's coming into my foreground all right this all this front part is my foreground my midground this is where i'm 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 gonna shoot at i'm gonna be making the mountains like whenever you go to t um, toontown that where mickey mouse lives there's a lot of mountains so that's what i'm gonna go ahead and make those mountains for my midground all right my background includes the castle as well as the sky and the firecrackers I know that it's not really, really tiny. I was gonna draw in Jiminy Cricket very, very, very tiny so you guys can see him, little bitty Jiminy Cricket. I'll go ahead and finish him up. I just needed to find a pencil sharpener, but I'll get him on there. And I will post a picture, a final picture. Now you guys, like I tell you, you can do whatever you can. It doesn't have to be perfect. Since you have to do three art pages this week, go ahead and just try to draw something up. Um, you can finish it up on the other days that I give you to finish up your work if you don't get it, get it done. But this is basically what you're going to do. It doesn't need to be perfect. Just a simple picture. You can Google some pictures up to show you a foreground, a background, a midground, and a, and a background, okay? If you can't find anything, and just draw me something out. Um, I do have an art rubrics just for you guys to know. I did go ahead and post the art rubrics um, to the dojo and I want you to go ahead and follow that the I don't I'm, I can go ahead and pull it up right now for you guys um, before I go ahead and pull up that art ticket um, the rubrics I'm gonna go ahead and exit the do the exit ticket the exit ticket should be how big are the foreground objects so right whenever I told you foreground remember the foreground is always in the front and those should always be your bigger objects um, what are the three grounds the foreground, the middle ground, and the background, okay? And then who is um, Tate Nation? I misspelled it. Tate Nation is a famous artist from Charleston, South Carolina, all right? So let me go ahead and just pull up that one last art rubrics. Give me one second and I can get that up for you. The art rubrics will include for you guys so that you know, um, will include if you it tells you right here if you're on task meaning that you did your work okay basically if you did the package you get a four on it all right um creativity and work quality that you used your time well i was focused on, on and on task the art elements are balanced and working well together my art is unique and it shows my own ideas i was creative as long as you're creative you know that you got the best score in my class your work quality my art is carefully made and i paid attention to details remember i don't like any white unless it's a cloud or something on your page so make sure that you do work on that i don't want to have it like right now of course i wouldn't have a four because i have a lot of white and i need to go ahead and color all this in okay um, that your your um, you turn this on on time to me. You need um, we're gonna be taking them whenever you see me in your art class. So if we go back to school, the first day you see me because I don't see all of you on Monday. When I go into your art class, I need your packet so I can grade that. Okay, and I need you to have a parent signature. If, if you don't have the front uh, these front pages and you don't have the little signature line, go ahead and just have your parent sign it on the back. Okay. So that is all. I need you all to also do me one last thing. If you received my art package, 
and it um i need you to have your parent dojo me just a quick message on dojo i have the packet that way that i can keep a roster on you guys to know who has the packet if you do not have the packet and i don't see a message from you i'll call your parents or i'll be calling parents to get a job packet okay so that's basically it i hope that you stay safe please don't be going outside and do all the things that you need to do all right have a great um, day and I'll see y'all tomorrow. Bye guys.